what if I told you that both Moses and Jesus were Muslims? What if I told you that Islam means peace, obedience, and submission? What if I told you that this life is just a test and Islam is just a continuation of Christianity and Judaism? After all, the Virgin Mary did in fact wear a veil. And yes, Muslims do believe in biblical stories such as Jonah and the whale. What if I told you that according to the Bible, Jesus had fair skin, he wasn't white nor was he pale, and that the true faith of Jesus will prevail? What if I told you that the Bible was written hundreds of years after the death of Jesus by John, and that the modern Bible is something that man had drawn? What if I told you that Muslims greet each other by wishing peace upon one another and that our women are not oppressed? We actually believe that heaven lies underneath the feet of one's mother and that whoever you are or wherever you come from, if you share my faith, I shall treat and address you as my sister or my brother because Islam doesn't tell you to be a hater, it teaches you to be a lover. With this poem, I'm not attacking anyone's beliefs, so please do not be offended. These are the views of me and my fellow Muslims. See, we believe that with Islam, the religions of the book have been extended, and with Muhammad being the seal of messengers, the prophecies have ended. See, we believe that Jesus was never crucified, God had replaced him with a lookalike in the eyes who had pretended. Think about it. If Jesus died for your sins, then shouldn't your life be guilt free and splendid? If that was the case, you would never be held accountable for anything you did in this life. Which poses the question, what is the purpose of this life? But a test. There is something that you must take in and understand. Jesus is not God, He is a man. See, Jesus never said to worship Him. That is something that He would have hated and despised. Because how could the Creator and the creation even be related? See, that is something that can't even be contemplated. We too believe in His return, He is awaited. And when He does come back, all of these lies about Him will be deflated. Like how people say He was crucified when He was actually elevated. In the Bible, Jesus was said to be a prophet. So how can one be a prophet to himself? See, Jesus never claimed to be divine. Did you know that both Christianity and Judaism forbidden the consumption of both alcohol and swine? And actually, it is just a myth that Jesus ever drank wine. See, because the Bible we have today was modified in order to fit into the ways of mankind. But that is wrong. We shouldn't change the words of God to fit our ways. We should change our ways to fit the words of God. I love Jesus. Don't get me wrong. In fact, he is one of the most quoted prophets in the Quran. So I suggest that you research this matter so you can pass this test. So do yourself a favor and abolish your hate because when the sun shines from the west, it'll be too late.